Uh, well, very similar to the movie you saw that you were just describing. I saw a film called Proxy, which is about child murder. James, <laughs> do you have some kind of problem? Yeah, you tend to watch a lot of dark films. I can't wait to hear the rest of the ones you've watched. <laughs> They're not all dark, are they? No, well, you gotta explore that that uh, that part of your psyche. Yeah, most of the, most of the movies I saw that we hopefully haven't... not while masturbating, but you know. The, And of course, Jay would recommend this film because it's a weird, perverted horror film. Oh, that's right. She was on Mad Men. I was going to say the same time she was on Mad Men, she was on Community. And I really liked her on Community. Never watched Community. Um, um, she's good on Glow, the Netflix show. I didn't watch that because I'm not a pervert. At one point in the movie, there's a fucking Cannibal Holocaust reference, which uh, caught me off guard. So, Jay, would you recommend uh, Censor? Absolutely. Of course and, you would. And, and, well, speaking of movies that will make you want to vomit, I saw a film called Climax. Of course you did. I have other uh, more, more uh, family-friendly movies on my list this year, but we'll start with the most extreme one. Because the first big cannibal scene is uh, genuinely upsetting. Like, I, I mean, I've seen everything, so it wasn't that graphic for me. It's directed by Jim Wynorski, The Return of Swamp Thing, Chopping Mall. <laughs> He's directed like 200 movies, and that's the one they pick. Name a better movie than Return of Swamp Thing. Witches of Brestwick. The no. Bear Wench Project? You sound like you're not uh, properly informed on your Jim Wynorski filmography. What's your last, what's your last uh, pick? What's your last movie you want to talk about, Jay? Oh, well, let's, let's end our 2021 special on a disgusting pervert film. I saw Titane, or Titane. It's a French movie. It's about a woman that fucks a car and gets impregnated by the car. There, there's some good laughs, um, but the it, best. Can we talk about the best laugh in the whole movie? There's the the, the launch of the Buddy Two dolls at the toy store at the end, or at yeah. the the Kmart store. And you got the guy with the big stupid costume on. Oh yeah. Chucky slits his throat. He still has the giant head uh, Buddy costume on, and just starts. They take it off, and he just starts gushing blood all over a small child, and it just keeps cutting back to her screaming. It's like a like a Freddy got fingered gag. I know your secret kink, you fucking weirdo. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were the only one laughing in the theater. I was, I was, oh, that's god awful. It's horrific. Oh, that child say, is covered with blood and just. <laughs> but I'm going to say those last five minutes did a lot to redeem it. That was some weird, perverted Frank Henenlotter shit when the girl started fucking the puppet. Mm -hmm. that, that was genuinely entertaining. He did a movie before that, a really low-budget movie called Sleeping Dogs Lie, a romantic, a charming romantic comedy about a girl that blows her dog. Uh, but there's only a small element of the movie. It's actually very touching. What We're talking about shit? feeders, too. I guess... Isn't that a kink? You... Feeding Feeders? Isn't that a kink? No, feeders are like what... A feeder feed. is like, like, like you are with someone who's overweight. How does he know about this? I don't, I've never, I've literally never heard of this before. This is like, this is like some super it's weird, it's fetish. Yeah. I know this is a fetish where you fantasize about being eaten. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Are okay. you a fed then? Yeah. Are you a it's fedder? Like, I'm a feeder. I'm a fed. A feeder. So, so like, yeah, like, 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 Eating porn, like I think so. I, I think, think that's a thing. No, this is like, so like specifically you thing. being eaten. There was that. Do you remember that German cannibal? I do. Yeah. He yeah. solicited somebody to be eaten consensually. Oh. oh my god! And somebody took him up on it. It was ended up being a murder case. The weirder the kink, the less in the in the, the po overall populace it becomes. Sure. So you can nail it down to maybe one person. But who there's might be, five billion people who might be sexually aroused by being murdered and eaten. Mm -hmm. Whittle it all down to one, and that German guy found him. God bless him. <laughs> Lucky bastard. And, and you're <laughs> saying that there is a fetish for watching people. I, I want to say the term feeder has a sexual. Kink, like a, a connection to so who a sexual started that? Thing. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Do they need? It was Grimace. Like... It's Grimace. Oh. Grimace is the feeder. Oh, oh I eat those fucking fries. <laughs> eat those fry guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, the Chicken McNugget kids? The Don't get them thing? involved. Or was it the Burger King King? Get in my, oh, oh, yeah. Get in my mouth, Mayor McCheese. Well, let's get real erotic. It was windy. <laughs> do you know where all those nuggets went? Oh, yeah. That's why do they call them nuggets? Ow. Oh, we are, we are Ow. really desperate here to get. Oh, wait, wait. No, wait. actually, I think we're not this desperate. Is great. We're, we have too this much material. It, yeah. so. Did it have a good climax? I mean, not like a satisfying one from a narrative, no, but in a I feel awful and I want to vomit way, then yes. Okay.